Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today project is this little guy's a very round and fluffy cheap. So today project is a little bit advanced for a beginners. I'll try my best to describe and go a bit slow at the start. So if you guys cannot catch up or have any question, feel free to pause the video, slow it down and comment to ask any question about it. So let's get started. Today I'm using my usual 3.5 mm hooks with the Eagle brand yarn from Thailand. It's pretty similar to the double knitting or DK yarn. So as long as you keep your yarn consistent, like from the same brand throughout the project, it should be fine. And the hook side is depends and the size of the, the finished product gonna be depends on the yarn and the hook that you are using. We're gonna start with six single crochet into a circle. So you can do magic ring, but I am gonna do two chains and then six single crochet into the first chain. So first we're gonna start with creating a chain. What I like to do is I'm just gonna run my hook to wrap the yarn like this and hold this tight yarn over and pull it through now I got one chain then yarn over and pull it through I got my second chain okay then six single crochet into the first chain First single crochet One single crochet Two single crochet Three single crochet Four single crochet five single crochet and six single crochet then if you have some a small hole like this I pull this tight and it's close is this focus yes slip stitch to close the round I slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round so slip stitch one chain to start the next round no three chain to start the next round we're gonna work with popcorn stitch so next round we're gonna do six popcorn stitch in this six single crochet that we just do uh, should I move it closer okay okay so in the chain that we in the stitch that we do slip stitch earlier I'm gonna do six double crochet so yarn over put the hook through the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier yarn over again and pull it through this is one double crochet and you're gonna repeating this in the total of six time in the same stitch so double crochet number two I'm gonna start slowly double crochet number three so, yarn over and pull it through Double crochet number four, double crochet number five, 
and double crochet number six then I'm gonna let go of my loop here at the second stitch or you can count from here one two, one two three four five so here is where we insert the stitch and then hook this hook the loop over here and hook it through this is one popcorn stitch I'm not gonna work on the first uh, double crochet and you will see why that later on so I'm gonna repeat this step to all of the six single crochet that we done so we will, we will end up with six popcorn stitch so for the next popcorn stitch six double crochet into the next stitch first so is it wait this is the right stitch no <laughs> be careful not to skip stitch okay the second stitch is here six double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five double crochet and six double crochet into the same stitch then let go of the hook count back five five stitch one two three four five and hook this back through the second popcorn stitch and repeating this and all around so six double crochet into the next stitch one two three oops four five six six double crochet then let go of this count back for five one two three four five hook the hook through and then hook this loop to make it look like a popcorn we got our one two three popcorn and three more to go six double crochet into the next stitch one two three four five six six double crochet then make a popcorn counting back five hook put the hook in and pull this so we got another popcorn stitch on my hair And two more popcorn. So we do popcorn in the next stitch as well. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet. Then 
counting back five. Pull this through and one more popcorn stitch. One, two double crochet, three, four, five, and six. I hope I'm not going too fast. And cutting back five, one, two, three, four, five. Put it through, hook the loop in, and slip stitch to close the round. Now, we're gonna slip stitch on the first double crochet of this round. You see, you see, this is the three chain that we create to start, start the round, and then one double crochet that we ignore and we slip stitch through here and we also going to work on this stitch as well so slip stitch one chain to start three chain to start the next round okay this is the first chain we have six popcorn stitch and make sure you count the stitch at the end of the round every time because when I try this on the prototype on this one I miscount it and end up with the different uh, stitch number that I than I thought <laughs> so make sure you count so next round we're going to increase as you can see from that one, we're gonna do a sphere, the fluffy, uh, the cheap body. So we'll, we are going to do the, another popcorn stitch on the same stitch that we done the slip stitch earlier, which is here. But not only just one popcorn stitch, we're going to do two popcorn stitch in here. It's gonna be tight and very crowded. But it's gonna be fine <laughs> so first popcorn stitch six double crochet one two three four five six and counting back five we ignore the first one Going back five, slip through, make one popcorn, and another six double crochet into the same stitch. Not not here, but here. The same stitch here is gonna be very crowded. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. Counting back five, ignore the first one. Slip it through to make another popcorn. So this is two popcorn per stitch. <coughs> so this round we're gonna do increase in popcorn. So two popcorn per stitch in between the previous popcorn. <laughs> so after we finish increase this one, next we're gonna work in we look back at the first uh the popcorn from the previous round we're gonna work on the first stitch which is here the first stitch of, of this chunk because we're gonna work on the first stitch of every popcorn if you're confused and you cannot see it 
so this is the stitch that we work on earlier this one is the one that we join the popcorn so we don't work on this and this is the one that we gonna work on it so here another two popcorn in here one double crochet two double crochet three four five six and pull it back and make another one into the same stitch one two three four five six Two, three, four, five, and pull it in. And we're gonna repeating this until we have twelve pop twelve popcorn stitch in this round. So next another two popcorn stitch into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. We count back five. Pull it through to create one popcorn stitch. Another popcorn into the same stitch here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Count back for five and hook this through. Repeating one, two, three, four, five, six. Make a popcorn and another popcorn into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pull it through. it stopped recording <laughs> so we are still on the second round where we do two popcorn into each stitch aka increase <laughs> so I am do working on the last popcorn of the round so two three 
four, five, six, count back for five, one, two, three, four, five, hook this through to create a popcorn and to make sure that I didn't miss anything, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, twelve popcorn in total. And then slip stitch to close the round. And we're gonna slip stitch on the first single crochet here. The first single crochet, not the tree chain. So we're gonna slip stitch here to close the round. And three chain to start the next round. Next round, I am going to do one popcorn, two popcorn, one popcorn, two popcorn, one popcorn, two popcorn, and repeating that all around until we have eighteen popcorn in this uh, in the next round. So six, six double crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet, and cow back for five. Hook this through to create a popcorn. And next, we're gonna do two popcorn into the next stitch. The same, we're gonna work on the first double crochet of each popcorn. So, two popcorn here. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Count back for five and hook this through to create one popcorn. Another one popcorn into the same stitch. Another one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and count back for five. Hook this through. Next, one popcorn into the next stitch. Just one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet. Four double crochet, five, six, count back for five, and hook this through to create one popcorn. Next, uh, two popcorn into the next stitch. So two into this stitch. The first popcorn to three, four, five, six, six double crochet, count back for five, put the hook through and hook this through. That one popcorn. Another popcorn into this stitch, yes. One Two, three, four, five, six, six double crochet. Leave this, count one, two, three, four, five, and hook this in. One, one popcorn in the next stitch. So six double crochet into the next stitch. One. Two, three, 
four, five, six, count back for five, put the hook through, and hook this through. And next, we're going to do <laughs> two popcorn into the next stitch. Yarn over. And where's the stitch? This one. Yarn over. Two popcorn into this stitch. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. Four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet. Leave it here, cut back, and pull it through. Another popcorn into this stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet. Four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet. Cut back for five, put the hook through, and hook this through. Next is one popcorn into the next stitch. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Count back for five. And then <clears throat> next two popcorn into the next stitch. Two, three, four, five, six. Go back here Ooh. and hook this through. Another popcorn into the same stitch. One sing double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet, five and six. Cut back for five. Hook this true. Next is one popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and make it into a popcorn. Next, two popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six double crochet, cut back, slip stitch. And another popcorn into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six. Cut back for five and make a popcorn. One popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count back, slip stitch. And lastly, for this round, two popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cut back for five and hook this through. Another popcorn into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count back for five. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. <laughs> and then we slip stitch to close the round. And yes, add the first double crochet of the round. Slip stitch. Three chain to start the next round. This is what that looked like. So from this round, we're not going to increase anymore. Uh, I forgot to count the, the popcorn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Okay. For the moment, I, for a moment, I thought I skipped something. <laughs> so we finished this round with 18 popcorn. And for the next round, we're going to do one popcorn for each stitch. So 18 rounds of popcorn for the next three rounds, I think. You will see it on the screen. I'm not sure. Yeah, for the next three rounds. So we're going to do one popcorn into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. To three, four, five, and six. So go back for five. One popcorn per stitch. And add popcorn into the next stitch. Two, Three, four, five, and six. Go back for five. Hook this true. Popcorn in the next stitch. Five, six, 
make a popcorn. Uh, one popcorn per each stitch. So one popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four. back make popcorn then six double crochet into the next stitch one two three four five six I'm gonna speed it up a little bit since I believe until now you should be able to make a popcorn so far so six single crochet into the next stitch two three ooh, ooh, ooh. four five and six make a popcorn and popcorn into the next stitch one, two, three, four, five, six. Count it back and slip stitch. Now the popcorn into the next stitch. So this round basically we just do one popcorn per stitch four five and six and if you're still not sure where to put it our popcorn will be in between of the previous popcorn as you can see this is the popcorn from the previous round and this round they will locate it in between two of the previous so one per each stitch let's go one two three four five Double crochet into the same stitch four five six one popcorn and I'm gonna stop talking now since it basically just one popcorn per stitch and I will see you at the end of round 8 or 7 4 5 yeah I will see you there again
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Yes. Slip stitch. <clears throat> Slip stitch two close around. One chain to three chain to start the next round. Two more round for popcorn to each stitch. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Okay, we just finish round seven. This is round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at round seven, you should still have uh, 18 popcorn stitch. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes, you still have 18 popcorn stitch. Next round. Okay, first thing first. If you want the body to be like longer, you can continue for another round or two I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna start decreasing so, oops. <laughs> we're gonna start decreasing and close the round so we end up with this this side circle shape so if you want it to be longer do like repeat round seven one or two more times as long as you wish for decreasing okay this is a little bit tricky for decreasing first we going to do uh, for this round we're going to do one popcorn then decrease one popcorn then decrease and repeat all around so we're gonna do, we're going to do uh, one popcorn first because this is what we've been doing from several rounds before. So six double crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. Three, four, five, and six. Six double crochet and count back for five and then slip stitch to make a popcorn next now this is what is gonna be going to be tricky is to decrease ideally we want to have one popcorn over these two stitch but that's hard so what I am gonna do is first I'm going to do a what is that five oh no not five like ideally we should do uh, like invincible so we should put our hook here in the next stitch and then again in the next stitch as well and then make a popcorn over these two stitch which I found really hard to do after we do that like I can I can only do that one time and then what else so we do that for once and then we already closed this 
and next we're gonna do the <laughs> repeating that again for <laughs> easier explanation so for the first uh, double crochet we're gonna work over this two stitch to make it easier to see so the first double crochet is gonna be decreased like this and this is one double crochet we already pull this close and we're gonna ignore this and the remaining double crochet is gonna be working in here so two three four five six and make a popcorn now we have one popcorn and then another one popcorn over these two stitch which I am calling calling it a decrease so next we're gonna do one popcorn over here I'm gonna stop here for a moment to change the batteries we're gonna do one popcorn decrease over two one popcorn decrease okay we're back so next is one popcorn into the next stitch one two three four five six and make a popcorn next we're going to do a uh, decrease popcorn which mean in the next stitch we're going to do decrease over the first double crochet so what I'm gonna do is yarn over this is the next stitch that we do we're gonna work and combine it here so we hook this to the next stitch twist it like that and this is the next stitch of the next popcorn hook this through make one double crochet and twist to the right I'm gonna then we're gonna make a popcorn over here and this is what happen if you don't tightly tighten the things over here so pull it tight uh, do that again and hopefully we don't have a big gap one mm, okay not very good but not that bad and two three four five six and make a popcorn it may look like you have like a small gap over here but it should be fine we decrease already so next is one popcorn into the next stitch one two three four five six 
make a popcorn now next is decrease again so we're gonna work over this two stitch the double crochet in decrease and then twist it like that oops <laughs> yarn over between this and this hook this true and hook this true yarn over hook this true and make it one double crochet and work on the left side five more double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three four five six and make a popcorn hmm? next okay too much <laughs> too much too much one two three four five six at the five here make a popcorn it's always confusing when decrease so make it slowly and make it. don't rush it so we are just done decrease next is popcorn into the next stitch so one yeah even like for the normal popcorn you will get this small triangle which fine it's fine so here is a normal as you concentrate it on what I'm doing this is a normal popcorn tree four five and six me eat popcorn next another decrease so we're gonna de decrease over here and here as you can see we we are working in between each popcorn so when we decrease we decrease over this two yarn over hook it through here twist it to the front and hook it through the next one as well yarn over hook it through make double crochet and we work on the left one the left stitch two three four five six and make a popcorn next is normal popcorn in this stitch one two three four five oops six and make popcorn next another decrease popcorn so we're going to decrease over here and here yarn over Put the hook through here, twist it to the front, and put the hook to the next one. Yarn over, make double crochet. Then we work on this side. Two, three, four, five six and make a popcorn and 
Next is normal popcorn. One popcorn into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last stitch of the round. We're going to decrease over this too. So yarn over. Hook this through here, twist it to the front, and hook it through the next one as well. Yarn over, hook it through both, make a double crochet. And then we work on this, this size of the stitch. Two, three, four, five. And make a popcorn, then slip stitch at the first double crochet of the round to close the round, three chain to start the next round. And for the next round, as you can see, it start to decrease. Next round, we are going to decrease all around. Yes, I know. It's gonna really hard confusing <laughs> so we first we going to decrease here with here so yarn over double crochet decrease and here and here and then double crochet and then we work on this side five more double crochet into this stitch four five and six then make a popcorn Next round, we're going to decrease over this two first. Okay. Yarn over, make sure it's quite tight. Hook this to here and then put it to here. And put that through both stitch. Make one double crochet. And you're going to work on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, and make a popcorn. Next row is a decrease over between these two. Yarn over, hook this through, twist it to the front, hook this through, hook it, yarn over, make double crochet and then on this side two three four five six and count back for five make a popcorn we're just gonna keep decrease and this round we should have six popcorn in total. And then we work just feel like we work so hard and we only have six popcorn. So another decrease here and then twist in here. True make E double crochet. And we work on this size two, three, four, five, six, 
six. Need a of popcorn. And then slip stitch or uh, not slip stitch decrease over this to stitch so yarn over hook it through here twist it and hook it through the next one yarn over and then hook it through two of the loop here then make double crochet work on this side two three four five six and make a popcorn the last popcorn of this round we're going to decrease over this two so yarn over Hook it through here, twist it, and hook it through here, pull it through, and then make double crochet. And two, three, four, five. Make popcorn, and before we slip stitch to close the round, stuff with the fibers. So in this one, I'm gonna stuff just enough, not very tight. So around here, just enough to for the, the project to hold shape because we have quite a lot of hole that can be visible if you you know stuff too too much. So we're just gonna stuff it enough that it still fluffy and can hold the shape. But all of these are not exposed. Make sure that it's not like very visible. Squeeze it around. Observe. Is there any? Yep. Looking okay. Okay, no hole. Looking okay to me. Once you're, once you are okay with the number, with the amount of the fibers here, we slip stitch to close the round. Okay, slip stitch to close the round. You can fasten off here. I'm gonna make a. Of the face of the sheep and attach here so if you want to save the yarn for leather you can fasten off and cut the yarn here but I am gonna make sure that things is secure so one chain to start the next round I'm just gonna do six single crochet decrease all around so we could we gonna decrease in single crochet all around here and if you're not sure which stitch to go by no worry because i'm not sure as well so i'm just gonna make decrease in double crochet all around here to make sure that the hole over here is not very big and there I'm 
and that's it. I'm gonna leave quite some length of yarn in case we have a visible big hole over here. So this is what it looked like from this side where we decrease and this is what it looked like from the other side. So my plan is this is gonna be the butthole. <laughs> This is gonna be the butthole, and this is gonna be okay. Let me squeeze a little bit. This should be circle, and I'm gonna attach a small face over here, and then the leg. But if you don't want the butthole, you can twist it, and you know behind this, below here, and then make the face on the side. Up to you, completely up to you, and if you want the cheap body to be longer you know long over oval shape body just repeat round six and seven for several more until you have the the size that you want okay next i am going to make the cheap face okay in order to make the face the cheap face I su supposed to use the black yarn but it's so hard to see on the screen so I'm gonna use this very dark brown instead so you can see the stitch as I'm working on it we are going to start with six single crochet into a circle and I'm gonna which is actually the same as the body. Six single crochet into the circle and I'm gonna start with two chain, one chain, two chain and six single crochet into the first chain. One single crochet, two single crochet, Three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, slip stitch to close the round, one chain to start the next round. So, next round is I'm going to do uh, two single crochet into each stitch all around to increase all around. So two single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. One and two into the same stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. One, two. And repeating this all around. One, Oh, two. <laughs> one single crochet into the next stitch, another one into the same stitch, one to the next stitch, one to the same stitch, one to the next stitch, and one to the same stitch. And if you're counting this, we should have 12 single crochet. Slip stitch to close the round, one chain to start the next round. Actually, you can work in spiral. I just prefer to work in round. If you want like a seamless spiral work, go ahead. Nothing wrong with that. And next round, I'm going to do a single crochet into the next three stitch. So one, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, two to the same stitch. One, two, three, two into the same stitch. So, one single crochet first into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. And then one to the next stitch. And another one to the next stitch. So, one, two, three, and increase. So, for this stitch, two single crochet into the same stitch. 
one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and then increase one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and increase. Slip stitch two, close the round. One chain to start the next round. And it should look like this. Next is single crochet into the next four stitch and increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and two into the same stitch. One, <clears throat> one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and increase two single crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and increase. Slip stitch two, close the round, and one chain to start the next round. Next round is one single crochet, <laughs> single crochet into the next five stitch and increase. I'm repeating that. So one. Two, three, nope, nope. four, five, and increase. One, two, three, four, five. And increase two into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and increase. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. So in single crochet into the next six stitch and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. Slip stitch to close the round. And one chain to start the next round. So next round we just going to do single crochet all around. So just one single crochet into each stitch. And single crochet into each stitch. And slip stitch to close the round. I think this should be it 
for the face of our cheek. Yep, this one. This one. And so this is the face from the side. Some ling of yarn for sewing. <clears throat> Actually, this one we don't need it. <laughs> don't need it. Um, the last round here are not needed as well because we're gonna put the face over it like this and sew all around. So I'm gonna sew half, <clears throat> one, uh, two third of it, and then stuff the fiber inside, and then finish it. So we're gonna try sewing this without ruining. eyes we're gonna make two eyes and then two ears and then another patch of yarn over here four chain one two three four And then <clears throat> one, two, three, chain, and a popcorn. No, 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 no. So we do one chain. Oh, it's not focus. Chain, two chain, three, four. Five, six, is six chain, and three more, one, two, three, and then popcorn into the fourth chain from the stitch. So one, <coughs> two, Three, four, five, six, six double crochet, a popcorn, skip one yarn. Oh, shouldn't. Should I? Shouldn't. Yeah, skip one yarn. And another popcorn. So one, two, three. Ah, it's not focus. Okay. Three. Four, five, six, and make a popcorn number two. Skip one chain. Mm -hmm. Skip one chain and Form number three. 
six and popcorn. And I have like a little hair over here. And one more popcorn in the last stitch. It's fine if you didn't. Actually the last the last popcorn that I'm doing right now is not in the plan but I think one more should be should look better. So six. So we have four row of popcorn over here which we're gonna put over the top of the head. So he also have like the bang. <laughs> I'm gonna sew it in. Yep. This is cuter. And we're gonna leave quite maybe around here. Leave some length of yarn for sewing fast enough. And the the end of the yarn will be a little bit on the awkward first position, but should be fine. <clears throat> and position the bang and it's okay if you like accidentally shift it we're gonna sew the bang first before we do the eye so you know even if the bang is not in the right place it should be fine then. next we are going to work on the ear so the black yarn or here is dark brown yarn and start with four chains so one chain two three four then nine double crochet into the first chain double crochet nine double crochet into the first chains and in order to do double crochet you yarn over put the hook through the first chain yarn over again hook this through now you have three loops on the hooks yarn over pull through two loop at a time yarn over again and pull through two loops this is double crochet so we're gonna repeat this uh, until we have nine double crochet so the second double crochet yarn over 
put the hook through, yarn over, hook it through, yarn over again, hook through two loops, yarn over and hook through two loops. Number two and then double crochet number three, double crochet number four, double crochet number five, double crochet number six, seven, eight, and nine. Leave some length of yarn. This is going to be for sewing leather. Cut the yarn. Fasten off. This is going to be the outer ear. And next, I'm going to grab a pink yarn. Any shade of pink that you like. And for inner ears, I'm just going to make uh, six single crochet into a circle. We'll be doing it we doing this for multiple times so two chain and then six single crochet into the first chain one two three four five six slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first stitch that we done and leave a bit of yarn for sewing fasten off then I'm gonna stack the pink yarn over the black the black piece like this so the edge here yeah, the lower edge of the pink yarn gonna touch the the angle the corner <laughs> of the the outer ear like this and I'm gonna sew the pink yarn over it and hide this at the back and this is what look like after you finish sewing that I'm going to fold this. This is kind of like a half circle shape. So I'm going to just folding this like this and sewing this part together. And you make two of them. You make two of them. And the last part that we're going to crochet is the cheap's leg. I'm going to start with 6 single crochet into a circle again. So I'm going to go a little bit faster. 2 chain and 6 single crochet into the first chain. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and slip stitch to close the round 1 chain to start the next round now next round I'm gonna do 1 single crochet into each stitch but black uh, back loop only so normally when you work that's like 2 loop right we put the hook through to two of the loop here but for this round I'm gonna put the hook through the back loop only but if you cannot identify the back loop you can just crochet normally it on it only affect the shape a little bit not that much but I like to do the back loop only so we got like a flat sole on the sheep leg so two and for this round is just one single crochet into each stitch in the back loop six 
and then slip stitch two close the round one chain to start the next round and again you can <laughs> you can skip the slip stitch and one chain and do the spiral for this because we don't have any color changing but I just like working in round and next uh, this round the same one single crochet into each stitch normally so two three four five six slip stitch to close to round and one chain to start the next round and one more round the same one single crochet into each stitch in total of six stitch two and three and four five six then slip stitch to close the round and leave some length of yarn for sewing cut the yarn fast enough and make four of them so you four leg for the sheep and now we are going to do the sewing so I'm gonna start by probably I should start by so I'm gonna sew the extra hair that we crochet earlier first So four of the lake and we are done a little sheep mm. Oh and he kind of can can stain. Mm. 
think it's a bit hard to see, but here, kind of like can stand over. I think if I have a small plastic eye, you know, the smaller eye that can fit here, it's gonna be cuter. That is fine. This one is cute. And little butthole. <laughs> little butthole over there. And that's it for today. And if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumb up. And now we have a joint button if you want to treat me some coffee. <laughs> you can click there and get a joint button. When you comment down below, you will have a special badge next to your username. And it will change the color as the time goes by. And... Um, I set it in three tiers, so you either treat me some coffee or buy me some meal, and you'll be announced as a sponsor of the videos of that month. And read more detail in the community tab. And of course, you don't have to. You can, you can stay all free. Don't have to pay anything. But if you want to support, you can click the join and maybe buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye bye. No, I think he kind of cute. Like I, at, at first I thought, I feel like he is not cute enough. But now, to be honest, it, this is kind of, this is, he, this is very cute. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love it.